I'm at like year four of hating my diet. Hey, you know what they say, life's a bitch, learn how to fuck it. What up? Decided today to film a full day of eating. Unfortunately, um, Tato slept in, so we missed meal one, but that's fine. Um, my meal one is 100 grams of oats, um, a tablespoon of agave, um, 20 grams almond butter, eight ounces of egg whites, two whole eggs, um, yeah, so it's a pretty big meal. And a Nutrigrain bar, I did not see that. I'm also supposed to be eating a Nutrigrain bar. And then meal two is six ounces of chicken, 10 grams coconut oil, 300 grams of rice. So definitely eating a decent amount of food right now. Honestly, it's the first time in my entire bodybuilding career I have not been hungry ever, so I am literally never hungry um i'm eating this an hour prior to training that's honestly a little close for me um i usually tend to eat like an hour and a half prior especially on leg day but i forgot i had a meal prep so now i'm kind of shit out of luck but i do the ground chicken just got my little pink salt on it a little bit of sriracha and we're about to pound this bitch and then go pound my legs <laughs> so Post-workout, I try to use like as little food as possible because I hate protein shakes. I think a lot of people get this misconception that bodybuilders like eating the same shit every day. They like eating chicken and rice. They like their protein shakes. I hate all that shit. I actually hate chicken. I like, I will never eat chicken unless it's like in my meal plan because that shit makes me hella nauseous, so I pretty much never do that. I don't have to, but you know, I have goals that are bigger than my desire to enjoy food, so think about that. You bunch of pussies. I'm at like year four of hating my diet. I don't give a fuck. Sometimes it's not always, it's like the path of least resistance, it's like, could I make my food taste hella good? Like, could I make something out of this protein shake, buy a creamy, do all that whole thing? Yeah, probably. But bodybuilding is, first off, hella expensive. Second off, it takes up a bunch of time. So I'm all about efficiency and inexpensiveness. Inexpensiveness, that's the right word. So if you're looking for fun ways to diet, you're not gonna find it on this channel. I'm all about raw dogging this bitch, so. Here's this, I gotta eat two of these. This is Dave's Killer Bagels. So 50 grams of protein plus 100 grams of carbs. So yeah, my post-workout carbs are actually down considering what they used to be. I was eating like 140 grams of carbs, but now I have more carbs just throughout my whole day. So anyway, we will catch you back at mill. All right, peeps. Meal number four, little behind on the day. I have a rest day tomorrow, so typically I just space my meals out a little later because I don't have to cram food because I can sleep in tomorrow and go to bed a little later. 300 grams of rice, six ounces of chicken. If I do do a condiment, I do sriracha or I do no condiments. Again, I am not a fun person when it comes to food. I am one of those people that could eat like a dog. I season my shit relatively the same year round. Maybe every once in a while I'll switch the shit up, but I found what I like. It doesn't mess with my stomach. I had horrible gut issues a few years ago when I first got with Ariel. I couldn't eat anything. I did a food allergen test. I literally had like complete gluten intolerance, lactose intolerance. So I've kept, I've come a long way and a lot of that was just eliminating things from my diet that caused inflammation. And now I found by just removing that inflammation, if I have it occasionally in small amounts, I usually don't have that bad of a reaction. So, so yeah, gonna hit this. Um, and like I said, I got a rest day tomorrow. So all I'm doing is running Warzone and chilling. 
Um, I gotta take my dogs for uh, W-A-L-K. All you dog owners know why I'm doing that. So, um, just gotta take these two depressed pups out. It was Riot's birthday yesterday. Sweet boy is six years old. My two boys are six now. So, they're getting older. They're healthy, they're happy. We got Maverick on a diet. It doesn't really do him justice laying on the floor, but I promise he's lost like 10, 15 pounds and he is quite the life of the party. So, I always tell people if, if you're in the off season and you don't have much of an appetite, incorporating some small walks throughout your day will definitely help with that. I have not been the best and I need to take some of my own advice. Um, but you know, off season, you feel super heavy, lethargic, you don't want to do a lot, but that is one thing that can help with your appetite. Getting a good GDA, glucose disposal agent, another great way to um, help with the off season. If anybody wanted me to tell you, I used to when I first got into bodybuilding, like I said earlier in the video, I didn't like chicken. I didn't like a lot of things. So, cause I was coming from being fat and like eating whatever I wanted all the time and eating corn dogs every day and PB and J. So when you go from that to being on a structured meal plan, Obviously, it definitely sucks ass at first. So earlier in my career, I did try to make it more fun. You know, I would do all sorts of interesting recipes just to like hit my food, make it really um, tasty. But now I'm at a point where I'm so goal focused. I don't care about anything. Like, I don't even think about it. I'm just eat eating for a purpose. So yeah, maybe I'll make a video in the future that's more fun foods but right now i got a goal that's why i always tell people consistency is so important because consistency is what's left over when motivation fails so setting yourself up and, and giving yourself non-negotiables i'm a big kobe bryant fan right and he had non-negotiables every day i'm gonna wake up at 4 a.m and shoot my free throws that's something i'm gonna do every single day with all of it. Uh, another non-negotiable i'm going to hit my meals every day Ooh, almost caught me. Still got one more meal after this. I'll be okay. It's just, it's an easy meal. My last meal is just a shake, 70 grams of carbs. So I'm just gonna eat a Pop-Tart and uh, probably a Rice Krispie. And then right now, 300 grams of rice, six ounces of lean ground beef. I kind of feel like a pussy because this is like a lot of food for me. But um, I have some clients who are eating like over 400 grams of rice. So now I feel a little empathetic and I'm never listening to, or I will now hear them when they complain. So that's one thing that I've learned as a coach is everybody's different and everybody responds differently to different things. And everyone has like a different level of like appetite, a different level of shit they can push themselves through. Like I can't make everybody get on a treadmill and push themselves as hard as they need to, to get in shape. Like, does that make sense? Like I know how to get them in shape, but not everybody's capable of doing that because sometimes even though you're going through the motions, you still have to like get to a different place and a different level. And not everybody is capable of doing that. So one thing that's nice as a coach is working with everybody. And even as I do my own personal journey, I learn like what sucks. And then I can be a little more empathetic for people. So anyway, gonna pound this meal. Then I just have the last meal. Last meal, shake. Pop tarts, raspberry. I haven't had these in a long time. I don't even know if I like the raspberry ones, but that's what I'm doing. Um, protein, I got farm fed, uh, just the chocolate. I do it with a little bit of almond milk. I use the unsweetened vanilla, so low carbs or calories that I just don't care. If I was on prep, I would probably just use water. Well, I would definitely just use water, but I don't gotta do that right now. So that's my full day of eating. Maybe tomorrow, I'll, if I'm filling up to it, I'll make my breakfast and then he could just, hopefully you guys enjoyed the full day of eating. It's a little different. And yeah, hopefully you picked up a couple tips and whatnot, uh, like I said. Uh, at that point right now where food is kind of ass, I feel fucking massive. I feel <laughs> very aware of how heavy I am, like walking up and down the stairs. But I appreciate you guys. Thank you for the support. Thank you for, you know, following me. 
through this whole journey. I'm feeling really good about this upcoming year. Stay tuned, big things are coming. I feel, uh, I told Nikki this is the best I've ever been in my life, like mentally, physically, um, and definitely in terms of preparedness. Going into this, I feel amazing. So I'm very excited to prep. I'm very like ready to prep. So I, uh, I'm ready to, I'm ready for it to suck. I'm ready for that type of shittiness. Cause I like being hungry. I feel like I'm very efficient when I'm hungry. Yeah, I'm about to bring a whole different level of conditioning that I don't think anybody um, has seen on me. I'm trying to be a whole different standard. You know, I think I have the genetics with my ability to get lean that I could be one of the leanest people in the division. So. I'm gonna really push hard this prep, bring something fucking nasty, and hopefully we get that W. So, anyway, thank you guys for the support. Peace out, bitches.